that tree? <gasps> Uh-oh, those are snake skins. Snake skins? That's right. When snakes grow bigger, they shed their old skins and grow new ones. And these skins came from a really big snake, like an anaconda. An anaconda? That's not good, right? <gasps> Something's coming. Could be a snake. Get behind me. Sam! Kids! That's a weird-looking snake. That's no snake. It's my partner. Your partner who found a capybara. Hello. <laughs> That's funny. I found one too. Oh, yeah? Nice work. Now we've just got to compare maps to find the best way back. Right. Thing is, I didn't really keep track of where I was going. You didn't? Oh, kids. A good detective always keeps track of where they're going. Well, I hope your map can lead us away from all these snake skins. Snake skins? Is that what they are? You didn't know? Sam, any animal expert could tell you that there's clearly a giant anaconda nearby. You mean like that one? Yeah, just like that one. The anaconda. Run! you didn't know those were snake skins. I can't believe you didn't make a map. Oh, you and your map. Why are you... Are we gonna be stuck up here forever? I want to go home. I miss my pappy. Don't worry, capybaras. We'll get you back safely. With Kit's animal knowledge... In Sam's detective skills, there's nothing we can't do. Right, partner? Right. Now, any ideas? What else do you know about anacondas? Anacondas mostly hunt in the water. When they go on land, they're kind of slow and clumsy. So if we stay out of the water, the snake won't be able to get us. And we can use my map to find a path back to the capybara's home, while staying safe on dry land. Nice detective work, partner. All right, capybaras. You ready to make a break for it? The creature cases.